Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. The B-2 Spirit, a long-range stealth bomber, first took to the skies in 1989. It remains a crucial asset in the United States' long-range strike capabilities and is among the most survivable aircraft in existence. Its stealth features enable the B-2 to penetrate even the most advanced enemy air defenses. This aircraft stands as a testament to engineering brilliance and represents one of the finest symbols of American air dominance. Designed as a flying wing, the B-2 lacks a traditional fuselage and tail, featuring a wide, short wing that defines its unique structure. Each B-2 bomber requires a climate-controlled hangar spacious enough to accommodate its 172-foot wingspan. These specially designed hangars preserve the effectiveness of its radar-absorbing coatings and materials. A standard B-2 hangar measures approximately 126 feet in length, 250 feet in width, and 55 feet in height. The B-2 remains the only aircraft able to carry large air-to-surface munitions while maintaining stealth. Its weapons inventory includes conventional arms like Mark 82 and Mark 84 JDAM GPS guided bombs, CBU-87 cluster munitions, Gator mines, and the CBU-97 sensor-fused weapon. It is also capable of deploying nuclear bombs, including the B-83. Several factors contribute to the B-2's seamless takeoff. During development, engine thrust played a pivotal role in the bomber's aerodynamic design. Thrust influenced not only drag and lift, but also pitch and roll dynamics. The trailing edge of the wing houses four pairs of control surfaces used throughout flight. However, during takeoff, all elevons remain drooped until sufficient airspeed is reached, minimizing risk of surface contact and maintaining nose-down pitch. Stationed at Whiteman Air Force Base in Missouri, the 509th Bomb Wing is one of only two Air Force units operating the B-2 Spirit. It is also the oldest atomic-trained unit in the military. This unit can launch B-2 bombers directly from Missouri to strike anywhere on the globe delivering heavy payloads and deploying nuclear bombs in wartime scenarios. The B-2 has played a significant role for the U.S. Air Force in various conflicts. However, it is set to be succeeded by a more advanced aircraft. On the 2nd of December, 2022, the U.S. Air Force introduced the B-21 stealth bomber at Northrop Grumman's plant 42-inch Palmdale. The B-21 a long-range, highly survivable aircraft 
will eventually replace the B-1 and B-2, becoming the foundation of the Air Force's bomber fleet. Designed to evade systems like the S-400 and S-500, it will carry both nuclear and conventional weapons. Though the full design and cost remain classified, a single B-21 is estimated to cost around $753 million. As the first bomber of the 21st century, the B-21 features cutting-edge stealth advancements that make it truly unique. While it doesn't carry bombs, the C-17 Globemaster is one of the most vital aircraft in the U.S. Air Force inventory. This large transport plane is designed to move troops, vehicles, and supplies, often in combat zones. Measuring 174 feet in length with a wingspan of 169 feet, the C-17 is built for strategic airlift missions. It can carry up to 134 personnel, or roughly 300,000 pounds of equipment. Vehicles. And fuel. Due to its size and sensitive onboard systems, the C-17 also requires large hangars to shield it from environmental elements. Introduced in 1995, it still contains critical systems that must be kept protected. Because it frequently operates from remote bases or underdeveloped airfields, the C-17 must be housed indoors whenever possible. I'm Captain Susan Finch and I'm a pilot in the Air Force. Being a C-17 pilot is extremely rewarding. Being able to be that dependable source for people, whether it's getting people who are in need of humanitarian aid or dropping off stuff for the troops that are downrange. Sometimes when I'm going down the runway and we're getting ready to take off, I'm just like, wow, this is awesome. This is my job. Its high mounted wings improve stability during heavy cargo flights, which is especially helpful during takeoffs and landings on short or unimproved runways. Like all aircraft, the C-17 undergoes regular inspections, servicing, and repairs. Regardless of whether an aircraft is military or civilian, routine maintenance is essential for safe operation.
This is one more reason why hangers play such a key role. When internal components are exposed for maintenance, the work must be done indoors to protect the aircraft from harmful contaminants, like dust, dirt, or excessive humidity. Hangars also offer the necessary space and facilities for maintenance crews to work safely and efficiently. Working inside a hangar instead of on an open tarmac gives technicians access to the tools, lighting, and equipment required for comprehensive inspections and repairs. Even though the C-17 doesn't have the advanced technology found in the B-2, hangar maintenance also offers a layer of security. Conducting repairs indoors helps protect classified components and sensitive information. Though aircraft hangars are primarily designed to shield planes and gear, they can pose unique hazards. Fires in enclosed spaces like hangars can cause millions in damages within minutes, especially when jet fuel or munitions are present. That's why modern military hangars are outfitted with foam fire suppression systems. These advanced systems rapidly smother fires by releasing a thick foam blanket that starves the blaze of oxygen. To meet Air Force standards, the system must coat at least 90% of the aircraft's outline and floor in a foam layer three feet deep, all within four minutes during tests. While these foam fire systems have proven highly effective, they are not without flaws. A notable incident occurred in 2014 at a National Guard airbase in Tulsa, Oklahoma. During a routine test of the alarm system, the foam discharge was accidentally triggered, covering the tarmac and engulfing three Black Hawk helicopters in foam. Another issue with foam systems is that they can hinder rescue efforts. If a hangar fire activates the foam, any personnel inside may struggle to escape due to the thick layer cutting off oxygen below three feet. Rescue teams must clear paths through the foam using hoses which can be dangerous given the foam's rapid expansion. These factors can quickly turn a rescue mission into a life-threatening challenge. In recent years, firefighting foam has proven invaluable in both military and civilian aviation. However, research continues into improving fire detection speed, foam expansion rates, and minimizing environmental damage. Scientists are also working to reduce the chemical load of foam, making it safer for deployment and cleanup. From the stealth mastery of the B-2 Spirit to the global logistical reach of the C-17 Globemaster, the United States Air Force showcases unparalleled strength and versatility. Behind every successful operation lies a powerful support system, with vast, modern hangars playing a central role in the protection, maintenance, and security of these extraordinary aircraft.
that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.